do you play Troy Wars 2? Then you might spend a lot of time on farming. Farming in Tribal Wars 2 seems quite boring to me. Having a human do this would not make sense. I mean, we have machines to do that for us, right? So what we will do is set up a farm bot which automates the whole process. It sees the troops that you have currently remaining in your villages. It scans all the barbarian villages and then it uses the army presets that you have to send farm attacks to these barbarian villages. All of this being automated, so this is a 100% walk-away solution. As you can imagine, even if you have just a dozen villages on your account, this can save you more than one hour every day. So how do we do this? How do we set this up? Fortunately, we have this comprehensive guide here and I'm going to include a link to this guide in the video description as well, so you can use that. So what is this? This bot farms barbarian villages in Trial Wars 2. It automatically detects barbarian villages, available troops and configured army presets to attack. So this guide shows us how to set it up and as you can see it also explains some additional settings that we can use to customize its behavior. But today we will not explore all of this. In this video I will only show you the minimum setup that is required for the farming. So let's see, what's, what's the first step here? The first step is uh, download this zip archive here. The zip archive contains a software that is optimized for video games like Tribal Wars 2. So it is much more efficient and much faster than more generic solutions. When we've downloaded the zip archive, we can extract it using the standard Windows tools. And this will get us this um, executable file. And we can run this just double clicking the exe file in the Windows Explorer. And as you can see here, we might have to confirm once more that we want to run this program. And once that's done, it'll open up this new window. Here we don't have to install, just continue without. And here in the main menu, we click Run Bot. And uh, down here, we see a bundle bot, the Trial Wars 2 farm bot. We click that, and this way we land in the configuration user interface. So here's where we could enter additional settings to customize it, but this time we'll just use the defaults. So we just scroll down here all the way to the bottom and start a play session. It's showing us a list of game worlds, game servers. So here we just select the one we want to play in. And then we have to log in as usual. Select the game world. And once we are logged into the game like this, we can complete the setup. So I'm going to pause this bot first. One thing we can see in the bot's user interface here is that it actually shows a kind of an error message here. It complains that it did not find any army presets. And this is something that we have to set up manually. Uh, this is also being described here in the guide. So we're going to use this menu here to create a new army preset. And you're going to include this pattern here in the preset's name. Um, you can customize this pattern in the settings, but for now we are going to use the default here. So select which units to use for the farm attack. 
and then we can disable or enable the army preset for the current village. So for each village which should use this preset for farming, we will have to enable this army preset as well. Okay, that should be it. This should be the complete setup. Continue the bot and see what it does. I'm gonna switch to the other village and let it run. All right, that's it. We've completed the basic setup for automated farming. So what it is doing now is it sends these farm attacks from the currently selected village until it either runs out of troops in that village or it runs into this limit of 50 attacks per village. So it's going through all of your villages until all of them are saturated and then it completes a farm cycle. You can also configure breaks. So after finishing one of these farm cycles, it will wait for a few minutes, not doing anything, and then it will start a new cycle of farming. In this way, you can let it run for hours unattended. Okay, I think that should be enough to get you going. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or join our community on Discord. That's it from me for today. Have a great one. See you next time.